I'm Laura Wilson and I'm an artist. Um, I also uh, work at Chisney Hill Gallery as the educational organiser. Um, so I'm originally from Belfast. I moved here 10 years ago to study and I um, really wanted to move to London basically because it was a big city but also I'm really fascinated in history and I think a lot of my work is inspired through living in London. In 2007 I was invited to be part of an exhibition in an archaeological site called Enama in Belgium. I did a lot of research into the site before I went over and found out that it was basically an old Benedictine abbey and at the time they were also dismantling a wall in central St Martin's on Charing Cross Road so I took a brick from there and I wanted that to become the foundation brick of a structure that I was making on the archaeological site in Enama. So the title of that work was called Brick Exchange and um, since 2007 I was working with the developers of the new King's Cross site and the architects to build um, the brick from the Enama site into um, the new King's Cross building. Um, with my work I'm very interested in the process of how I get from A to B and I think because a lot of my work is spent playing around with materials and objects and trying to resolve them and I, often I, I make a lot of mistakes or errors but through doing that I kind of am able to resolve um, what it is that I'm trying to get to in the end. So the idea with blind building is that I wanted to really animate the building itself but to um, do it quite subtly. It was kind of a composition for the building and I had a, a, a person who was sort of the conductor inside the building and then 10 different performers and one performer uh, activated a window curtain each. And so the performance itself was about 15 minutes long and it happened twice during the opening of the exhibition. So it's just this kind of moment that wasn't kind of announced in any other way except that obviously the people at the exhibition saw it but that you could have a passerby that would just see this kind of um, action or activation of the building. I think um, trying to balance like work, money and paying the rent and then balance producing your work and giving enough time and space to do that is quite tricky and um, I find it certainly a little bit of a struggle trying to find the balance um, because you have to have a job at the same time no matter what that is. Um, a lot of people I know work in bars or um, cafes but um, I was really lucky I started working at South London Gallery um, and from there I moved on to Chisholm Hill Gallery and I've been here for two years now but um, it means that I can kind of balance my art practice within the time that I'm here and being that it's a gallery as well they're really supportive and understanding of what I do outside of um, being here. So some advice to people who are up and coming graduates or young artists I would say to have a kind of website or a blog somewhere where you can kind of keep having an online presence letting people know about what things you're up to but also it's quite good to have a sort of peer group so that um, you can each, so maybe from college or people who are in the same sort of situation as you, to keep a dialogue about artwork. So I think that's one of the hardest things about doing is leaving art college and losing that support network. So in a way you have to try and build that yourself. Um, if you want to find out more about what I do, um, it's all documented on my website and also I have a blog which um, I keep updated with kind of uh, reviews or press releases.